Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the ATI Radeon HD 4650 512 megabyte GPU in GTA 5 As usual I'm running it using the Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM Which will definitely be a bottleneck <laughs> Some people actually say that the game runs worse with higher end specs It's just, I, I don't get it Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So going over the settings first I'm playing at 1080p resolution and we're utilizing the DirectX 10 10.1 API, not the X10 because it actually causes some weird things to happen in these older cars for some reason. And DirectX 11, well, this GPU just doesn't support it. 1080p resolution to start off the video with. And as you can see, everything is turned off or set to normal, which is actually the lowest setting for this game. GTA also says that we have 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's just because whenever you have less than one gigabyte of VRAM in this game, it will say that you have a lot more because it will actually utilize RAM as VRAM whenever the VRAM isn't enough. And all right, this is not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> so 1080p is kind of out of the question, right? It's it's not doable. This feels like the HD uh, 5450. Maybe it's a little bit better than that. I'm not sure, but uh, let's let's forget the 1080p resolution, all right? I'm not really feeling like playing at 9 FPS for too long today. Um, so let's do 900p. Where is it? What the hell? 900p disappeared. There's only 1440 by 900, no 1600 by 900. Well, that's that's weird. Let's do 720p right away then. <laughs> Here we go, 1280 by 720. Everything else is still set to the lowest settings, of course. And uh, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, that's much better. Okay, we doubled our FPS almost. That's that's great. All right, it's it somehow like every time that I play with sub 10 FPS, when I play with 15 after that, it feels okay you know somehow it feels okay so if you have a really low end system and you're playing games at like 15 FPS at 720p, um, I suggest you to turn it up to 1080p or maybe turn the settings up and play for a little bit with 5 FPS or so and then go back to 15 because it will feel good after that. All right, just it's a pro tip. I, I'm very experienced with these things, unfortunately. <laughs> just imagine if I was rich, my friends, I would only buy the best GPUs and we'd all be here seeing beautiful graphics and beautiful gaming experiences instead of this crap. <laughs> but hey, sometimes this can be quite fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, I'm always very curious to see what these older and lower end cards can do these days. Um, this is a 2008 GPU, it was mid-range at the time, and of course in GTA 5 it, it won't do a good job, obviously. Somehow I'm actually distracting myself talking to you guys that yeah you, you don't talk back why don't you talk back ah, it's because i'm not streaming i should stream one of these days um anyway <laughs> while i'm here distracted talking to you i'm not really paying too much attention to what i'm doing so i'm not getting sick we should also disable the shadows a little bit later into this video i'm not sure why i chose this car to be honest to come here but all right uh Okay, didn't kill anybody there. It's all good. And it's not dropping too much. And the car just... Is it just me or is the car not doing any noise? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just my headphones that are not too loud. Maybe the, the GPU is cutting off the sound. I don't know. Uh, hi, Jack. How's it going? I'm sorry I didn't talk to you earlier. So how's your day going? You, you, you spend a lot of time here, don't you? It's like me spending time with... Um, old and bad GPUs. <laughs> you spend your time here getting some sun and stuff. Y yeah, yeah, you keep doing that. It's good for your health and, and running around and stuff. I should probably do more of that, actually. <laughs> Alright, guys. What is this shit? So... This is a 4650, Michael. Um, <laughs> so the next stop is 800 by 600. Everything's still the same, of course. And we're much closer to 30. All right, this is starting to feel way more playable. And we still haven't disabled the shadows yet. This is very similar to the HD 
5450, I believe, actually. Uh, with the shadows enabled and stuff, it still looks like GTA 5, for sure. It stutters a bit. Oh, God. Okay, no. Michael, it's all good. Thank you so much for not dying. As I was saying, it still looks like GTA 5. It stutters quite a bit because uh, 512 megabytes of VRAM are still not enough to uh, run this properly. And even at 800 by 600, even at lower resolutions, you know, so... It's always gonna stutter if you play with this card, but it's not an unplayable experience. You know, it's not the worst thing. It just this game with this GPU actually feels more playable than everything that we tested with the Celeron B830 in last Sunday's video. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Feels less stuttery than that. It is possible to have fun with a card like this. You just gotta lower everything. Uh, now, speaking of lowering everything, <laughs> let's do half resolution of 800 by 600, which is 400 by 300. And at 300p... Things are not looking very good anymore, but it's a heck of a lot better than something like a G100, that's for sure. That one was getting 18 FPS like this. This one's getting 40. I think it will stay above 40 or 30 FPS all of the time. I will say that this is not really a very enjoyable experience anymore in terms of the graphics, because, well, you can see it for yourselves. It's a pixelated mess, but... If you require the most FPS possible without going into config files to disable shadows, well, this is it. <laughs> All right, getting 70s here in Jack's Hill. That's insane, actually. Hello, buddy. It's bad because of the visuals, not bad because of the performance. And don't you tell me that the 5900X is doing this because, well, if I paired it with an i3 third gen, it would also get these FPS. All right, you just need a, a CPU that's capable of these frames per second, not a CPU that's capable of 200 frames per second like the 5900X. And we are back to it. 720p resolution using the lowest settings, and now the shadows are set to undefined because we disabled them in the config files. If you want to know how to do that, you can check out my GT240 video in GTA 5. Uh, let's turn that off and let's play at native 720p resolution. This is not very promising. Like, what the hell? Is it getting around the same Anyone? FPS? Oh, maybe not. I think we were getting like 16 at this resolution and now we're getting 20. So it's, it's a considerable difference right there. Um, Okay, I I, I, I I am just glad there wasn't any car there, but I, I, I still crashed into the tree. All right, let's keep on going. It still drops into the teens, as you can see, guys, and it still stutters quite a bit, so uh, I don't think this is very good, especially after playing with 40 FPS at 300p resolution. Um, oh, I feel like half of the time that you're playing this game... The game is stuttering. Like, it doesn't even show in the frame time graph anymore most of the times, but it is stuttering. And it's, it's frame skipping and stuff. It's so weird. Yeah, I, I don't recommend the 720p no shadows experience. All right, let's drop it down to 800 by 600 and hope for the best. Oh, maybe we're getting more stuttering issues because... We're driving a faster car, so it needs to render things faster. Maybe play with a slower car <laughs> if you're playing GTA 5 on a 512 megabyte GPU. Uh, all right, so now it's getting 30s at 800 by 600. The FPS boost by disabling the shadows isn't as big as I thought, you know? <laughs> she flew every card has a purpose this one is better as a display adapter or to play your older titles these days but it still works you know so that's something there and i really want to see jack once again here we go this car is awesome um uh, hi buddy how's it going glad you're all right i am fine too thanks for asking stop talking jack you're talking way too much today what what is it with you today so inside of bushes it still drops into the 20s but it is a little bit more stable right now we're driving really fast it's not as stuttery as 720p uh, but it still is really really stuttery 
it's, 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 it's okay. So yeah, this is getting really outdated. You can still play some games like Left 4 Dead 2 pretty well on it. So I'd play things like that. It's just if you want to play GTA, don't. <laughs> uh, unless you, you are fine with 800 by 600 resolution, of course. Let's start counting the frames. This is way better. It's getting very close to 60 frames at times, but the stuttering, guys. The stuttering is just way too intense. Oh, actually, guys, the G100 was getting the 17, 18 FPS at this resolution with no shadows. I just remembered. So this is a beast compared to the G100. Definitely go out and buy one if you have the G100, by the way. I think you can buy these for like what 10 bucks it's five bucks god damn it didn't get to see jack this time yeah it's really cheap but again if you're planning on playing gta 5 go grab something else and uh, if you have this card and you want to play this game try to sell it see what you can find for like 20 30 bucks because there are a lot of good gpus that can run this game absolutely fine um for those prices like for example, GT240, I paid 20 euros for that card, which wasn't an amazing price, and it can play this game at 720p above 30 FPS with shadows enabled. So yeah, there's that, my friends. I think that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.